Hi, my name is Mark Graney, and I am the author of the Gray Man series. And I'm David Ricciardi, uh, author of Warning Light. When I was a little kid, I burned my treehouse to the ground. And uh, it was not intentional. Uh, I was a big fan of model rockets, but it was a very windy day, and I had trouble lighting the fuses. So I thought, where better, put a little windbreak, launch them from inside the treehouse. The fireman walked up the uh, walked up to the treehouse, looked over at me, and said, "This is my first 311, fully involved structure fire. Open the hose for about two seconds and put the whole thing out." Back in the 80s, I was the drummer for a heavy metal band. Um, long hair, perm, makeup, awesome. whole thing. Uh, there was some lycra there was, or, or spandex involved. I thought do you have photos? Call. I do, oh, uh, and they they, they always God, they always give turn, us a photograph. They always turn up at the wrong times. <laughs> I probably know uh, every word to the first 10 seasons of The Simpsons. There was some genius comedy writing in those early years of The Simpsons. And uh, my kids and I have inside jokes going back and forth on a family chat that my wife just responds to pretty much with a question mark every single time. I can juggle. I've never had a cup of coffee. Um, <laughs> lo I see, yeah. I can hit a... 24 inch, say, target at a thousand yards uh, with a precision rifle, um, pretty much with no problem. The first time I went to a shooting range with my brand new pistol, uh, you had to staple gun, you had to go out down, down range, staple gun the targets, and I stapled my hand to the back of the target. <laughs> so I was stuck there as everyone else was going back to start shooting, and I just realized it's like, you can't even be trusted with a staple gun. You probably shouldn't have this pistol. I was in the Middle East last fall doing some research for a second book. We were driving around probably 10 miles from the Syrian border, and we were literally using Google Maps for navigation. And I don't know if you've ever used Google Maps or not, but sometimes it will take you off the major highway and put you on a back road to save eight seconds. All of a sudden, we're the only car on the road, and there's a steep drop off on one side, and there's a car with faded black paint and mirrored windows 360 degrees around it five feet off our bumper and there's an old beat-up pickup truck about 10 feet off our bumper and the pickup truck stops and i look at my nephew he says whatever you do don't stop mm -hmm.